Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infinite Learnopedia. This video covers second part of important MCQs for online exam on subject Internet of Things IoT. Watch first part of MCQs on IoT. Link of the video is given in the description box. Do watch the first video. Let's start with the Second part of important MCQs based on IoT. Let's get started. Question number one. Which of the following is the way in which an IoT device is associated with data? Answer is B. Cloud. Cloud-based services provide a way for IoT devices to be connected to data. For example, WWW World Wide Web runs on the internet, so does the IoT. Question number two. An IoT network is a collection of dash devices. Answer is C. Interconnected devices. An IoT network is a collection of interconnected devices that communicate with other devices without human involvement. Next question, question number three, which one of the following is not an IoT device? Answer is D, none of the above. Amazon Eco Voice Controller, Google Home, and third one is Nest Smoke Alarm. So this all three are IoT device. Google Home is a smart speaker that obeys all the commands given by the user. The Amazon Echo Voice Controller is also a smart speaker and the third one, the Nest Smoke Alarm is an IoT device that sends a smoke alert message to the user when a fire occurs. So these are the three IoT devices. Amazon Echo Voice Controller, Google Home and Nest Smoke Alarm. Fourth question, what is the main purpose of WOT? Web of Things in the IoT? Answer is A. Improve the usability and interoperability. The main purpose of Web of Things is to improve the usability and interoperability in the IoT. Developing IoT apps through WOT is much easier, faster and less expensive. So WOT provides developing of apps cheaper. Question number 5. What is the Arduino WNO? Answer is B. It is hardware device. It is based on the microchip ATmega328P microcontroller. Next question. What allows the user to control electronic components? Answer is B. It allows the user to control the electronic components connected to the Intel Galileo Generation 2 board by HTTP request. Question number 7. Which of the following is not an application of IoT? Answer is C. Arduino. The Arduino UNO is a hardware device that is based on the microchip ATmega328 P microcontroller. Let's move to the next question. Which of the following frequencies is correct for the Galileo Generation 2 board? Answer is B400 MHz. The speed increases as the frequency increases. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 9. Which of the following layers provides end-to-end -end communication in IoT? Answer is C. Transport layer. It focuses on end-to-end -end communication and gives reliability and conjunction avoidance that packets will be delivered in the same way as the user sent the packet. Next question, which of the following is the example of a short-range wireless network? Answer is Wi-Fi. Short-range wireless network have a very short range. This type of network is used for applications 
running in the local environment. Examples of this network that is short range wireless network are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Heading towards the next question, question number 11, which is an open standard? Answer is B, MQTT. IoT needs standard protocols. Two of the most promising for small devices are MQTT and COAP. Both are standard protocols of IoT. Question 12. MQTT is dash oriented. It is message. Answer is B. Message. So it is message oriented protocol. Every message is a discrete chunk of data opaque to the broker. Let's move on to the next one. Question number 13. Does MQTT support security? Answer is A. True. Yes. It supports security. You can pass a username and password with an MQTT package. Question number 14. What are the key components of a M2M system? Answer is C. Sensors and Wi-Fi. Following are the key components of a machine-to-machine -machine system. Number 1. Sensors. Number 2. RFID that is radio frequency identification. Number 3. Wi-Fi. Number 4. is Autonomic computing. Next one. Request field is present in which message format? Answer is A. Request message. So the request message consists of a request line which requests a resource from the server. Question number 16. URI and contain type support is which protocol feature? Answer is D. COAP. It needs to consider optimizing length of data run and satisfying REST protocol to support URI. It also needs to provide dependable communication communication based on UDP protocol. Do not forget to watch the first part of the video. Hit the like button, share and subscribe to Infinite Learnopedia. Stay tuned for next video. Keep watching.